We want tonight at 6.05, the Indy Pride Parade is this Saturday. It's really a chance for the LGBTQ community to celebrate their history and culture. Now, parade participants include some of the state's biggest employers and often several politicians. But as our Mary Mills tells us tonight, this year there's one person Indy Pride wishes would stay home. He says he intends to join thousands of others taking part in the Indy Pride Parade, even if organizers say he's not welcome. We do not allow people or groups or individuals who have anti-LGBTQ positions to march in our parade. But Republican Jim Merritt, running for Indianapolis mayor, won't be walking as an official participant, but as a private citizen. In a statement, Merritt said his intention is to show others that over time my opinions have progressed, and theirs can as well. As a state senator, Merritt voted to ban gay marriage and for the controversial religious freedom law. No hate in our state! No hate! Merritt said while he owns every vote, that doesn't mean he hasn't learned along the way and would make the same votes today. Either way, Hanberg says if Merritt does walk in the parade, he's likely to hear that his consistent career of anti-LGBTQ messaging has caused a lot of pain to our community. And so it would be good for him to hear that and to see that and to meet the people that his actions and decisions have affected. And Mayor Hogsett will take part for the fifth year in, in a row. Uh, former Mayor Ballard also participated one year as parade marshal. Now, again, Merritt says his plans are to take part as a private citizen walking with a group. We just don't know which group that is. And we'll be there on Saturday to find mm -hmm. out. And we'll have that to, uh, on Saturday. Thanks so much, Mary.